Okay, right, I've finished the hands now, so let me just show you uh, what I've done here. I've moved away a little bit from my initial design, but I've still kept uh, quite a few of the elements, and I've kind of left a few little bits out, which I decided that in here, for these knuckles, I want them raised, I want them higher than, than the plates, but I'm going to actually probably use a brush, or I'm going to hand do these, or stamp these on afterwards. So all I've done is I've made the, the shells um, of the actual fingers themselves, the bone parts, I've actually extended them, put a little bit of detail across here and a little bit of knuckling across here. And the bottom of the hand, I've uh, made more of the actual palm lines, but kept it all quite simple. So well, that'll work really well. So okay, let's move on to the feet now. And what I've done here is I've literally just done this. I've grabbed it on the side view. So you just turn it around and shift click to keep it straight. Then I've control shifted to do a mask square. This is a hide. Um, I'm just going to click this so you can see this. And then all I've done is gone to my top view. And I've chosen the planar. planar flatten like this I brought the size up and then I've just shifted across it to flatten it I would say this intensity down just do a little bit of flattening at a time to get it nice and flat yeah and then all I do is unmask it all by clicking like this clicking outside the canvas and now we get ourselves some nice flat shoes uh, well now we're going to move into the move tool and just start to modify this in fact I might use the mask to just mask this area out so that it's not, not going to be affected too much by us moving this geometry around and basically we just want to clean it up a bit so I'm going to use maybe the smooth brush on this and just move it around you can smooth into the extrusions you did if you like. I quite like the shape of that, the way the foot kind of bounds up where the toe is there. So, you know, just sort of make this a little bit more visually acceptable. Okay, that's quite nice. Quite like that. Okay, I'll just unmask it and I'm just going to go along and carefully smooth out this line here and around here and probably around here as well so our shoe is quite quickly coming into shape I want to have a look at my drawing and make sure that my foot's going to look a little bit like this so once again I'm putting my reference in and I'm looking at this foot as she goes up a little bit there at the ends and it's kind of quite sharp so maybe maybe use this tool and move this back a little bit pull it up a little bit there can use the masking if you like to push bits back and then of course unmask it and just clean it up that's quite nice ok now I'm just going to move in with my standard brush move the size down and I'm going to start to put in this area that's kind of up you sure sort of shoots up at the heel that's quite nice. Just going to put him around here. Do the same this side. Maybe a bit intense, really, for this, but um, not worry too much. I'll use my smooth brush to come in and just smooth that back. To add in a little bit of. Um, A little 
little bit of uh, added uh, rubber around that sort of sole. Be quite careful when you're using a smooth brush. You'll notice this area. I smoothed it and I ran onto that area. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. Right, now I'm going to just use my masking tool. And this time I'm going to use the curve. coming in the wrong way so I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to bring it in there double click bring it up here then I think I'll leave it as a curve then I'll go back into sharp and there we go I'll just inverse that and I think I'll polish it back a little bit and now I'm going to do a little bit of inflation maybe a bit more and then I'm going to come in and use the H polish brush go to H. I'm going to bring my brush size up a little bit here and I'm simply going to start to polish this back. 